Hi, Aries. Welcome. So, Aries, this is going to be your spiritual tarot reading, and we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. So, Aries, when I was meditating on the energy for you, um, I was feeling these messages around getting back into the groove of things um, as we begin the new year and as this retrograde finally lifts. I feel like some of you may be feeling like you're getting back into your element or into some sort of groove because um, I was getting the song Groove is in the Heart. It's an old, um, older dance song. But yeah, I also um, picked up on a song by Bruno Mars where he's talking about wishing that he would have been better towards someone than he was in the past. And so this is not uh, necessarily a relationship reading, but I say what comes to the forefront. That song may resonate with you. Um, I'm not sure the title of that song. Um, hmm. If I think of it, I'll let you know. If you know it, put it in the chat. But um, yeah, that may also resonate with some of you in that maybe having like this look back period of you know, wishing you had gone about something better or wish that something went better or you could be connecting with someone who feels that way about you, Aries, that may have this nostalgic energy around them, okay? Um, it's also talking about, like, getting what you deserve out of relationships, out of life, and holding yourself to that standard, which is similar to the message I got in the Gemini reading, which that reading was very complicated, but if you have Gemini in your chart or you're connecting with one, check out that reading as well. And speaking of complicated, you have the card of complexity out as your overall energy paired with the second house of assets. So this is talking about your material world, your possessions, what you're talented at, your finances. This could be what you are getting into the groove with, Aries and or... Starting out the year, this is an area of your life that maybe needs to be looked at a little bit closer. This card also talks about having like something to figure out, something yet to solve. It can be an irritating energy as well, especially if you get overwhelmed, so be careful with that. But it's meant to transform you, okay? So if problems come up around uh, your love life or your career, just know that there is a solution in sight. And I'm hearing quick solutions, so I don't feel like... These are big, huge, you know, issues that are popping up. I feel like, just as the message said at the beginning, it's kind of like getting back into the groove of things. So then you have the Knight of Pentacles, which is all about taking your time, the practical approach, being methodical in your decision making, but also talks about trust and faith. So um, this is encouraging you to... Not really step outside of your comfort zone to kind of avoid impulsive type of actions right now. And instead, just to trust that things are working out, that there is um, a solution to whatever it is that you have going on. And yeah, this is an opportunity for you to kind of get back into the swing of things, okay? And this could be after uh, a lull, Aries, um, or a rest period. So... Let's go deeper into it and see. I'm going to get uh, the headspace out first, then the heart space and what you need to know about that. Then we're going to look at the big spiritual picture for you, Aries. Whoa, okay, all your cards came out at once. So you have the Seven of Swords, the Four of Cups, the Sun, the Empress and the Knight of Wands. So this is kind of talking about you being easily distracted, okay? Um, it's like you're getting in tune, right, with yourself and needing... First of all, there's two messages here also about taking good care of yourself, taking good care of your health, um, spending some me time, alone time, rest time, okay? I feel like you're going to come out of this period rested and rejuvenated is the words that I'm getting, but there is this emphasis, right, on taking care of self, but also your surroundings. Also, um, they're giving, I'm getting the word purification. I don't know what that means, but uh, if any of you have any purification rituals or uh, water purifiers, something about purification, take it or leave it. But it's like, 
in order for you to be able to do that, you kind of have to detach yourself from trying to figure something out. It's like, this is the energy I'm feeling. It's like knowing what you need to get done, right? And what you need to prioritize, but like your mind getting distracted. It's almost like there's something here, Aries, that keeps pulling you away from the present moment. And it could be something that you're really looking into, that you're trying to uncover the truth of something. Oftentimes, the Seven of Swords talks about deception, right? Um, and so, especially if you feel like there's some shady shit going on, it really could pull you away from doing things that are more meaningful and fruitful to you, right? Uh, but it's like, it almost feels like to me, Aries, like the mind is honing in um, on the issue of something as opposed to like showing gratitude and appreciation for other things that are going well in your life. This is normal, right? Like we could have the sun shining, the earth in perfect rotation, everything going well for us and be hyper fixated on the one area of our life or the one thing that is not going well for us. Um, it's just something about the mind likes to pull you in that direction. Um, but you're not going to find the solutions focused on the problem. You will only arrive at a solution when you start to focus on the areas that are going well. And then the inspiration, the push from the universe, the signs, the movement happens, right? It's almost like you're being encouraged, Aries, to kind of take your attention away from whatever this is that you're trying to figure out or uncover something, I feel for certain. But as you set your mind there, you're kind of stealing away from, you're stealing away from yourself, right? Because our mind can only focus on one thing at a time. So if you're consuming your mind, right, on a problem or something you're trying to uncover or figure out, that is precious time that is not being spent on the things that are right in front of you, that you have to be grateful for, you know, taking care of yourself, thinking about things you can control. So uh, they're saying not, it's impossible not to give it any attention, whatever this aggravating or irritating issue is that seems to be gnawing at the core or the brain of my Aries collective. <laughs> but it's like, find balance. Don't let it consume you. Don't get stuck there. Don't dwell too long. Pull away from that. Take care of yourself. Get out into nature. Move around, you know. Um, this is really an exciting chapter, I feel, that's coming in for you, Aries. But let's go into the emotional space and see what else we have. Queen of Wands, the Six of Swords in the reverse, and the Two of Swords. Sorry, my nose is itchy all of a sudden. There's that song again. I hope he buys you flowers. Hope he holds your hand. Mm -hmm. I was your man. That's what he says. All right, so you have the Queen of Wands, the Six of Swords in the reverse, Two of Swords. Page of Swords in the reverse and the Star card. So you're going to be arriving at a solution that's quite obvious, right? And in the heart space, it's a mixture of things going on. It's like on one hand feeling invigorated or excited at times, especially about what this year may unfold for you. But then also coming back around to something, continually coming back around to an issue or a problem and that kind of stealing away from you the joy that you really could be feeling in this moment it's like a little thief of joy in your brain you know what I mean like and every time you go there Aries it's like ugh, irritating to you so the, the encouragement again is to veer away from that but I feel like but I feel like you're going to continue to come back to this, whatever this is, until you figure something out. It's like a dog with a bone. Like Spirit will continually bring something to your attention until you figure it out, right? So there's something here too that has yet to be figured out that you may come back around to over and over again as, as, as we go through this first uh 
Okay. I was going to say the first quarter of 2023, and then I heard the in, in the latter half of the year, Aries, something that has been plaguing you or irritating you, there will be some sort of resolve. I don't usually go that far into the future, but that's what I got. So this is talking about, too, like... There seems to be like some undecidedness or indecisiveness here. And yet, you know what you want, right? Like you have a desire, a wish that excites you. And then in between you like obtaining that or getting to that point is kind of like this cyclic, repetitive issue where you begin to become uncertain and then doubt whether you know what's right for you or whether you know the truth of something. It's like some of you may feel also that a situation arises that makes you feel like you're in between a rock and a hard place. Um, when you feel like you're in a rock and a hard place, meaning no matter what you decide, neither decision feels right, the best action to take at that point is no action until you get clear in your head and your heart as to which one is seems like the path of least resistance to you right <clears throat> because <clears throat> first of all you can't get it wrong so no worry but also when we're feeling stagnant or stuck like that <clears throat> it is a, a moment for us to pause right and to do some self-reflection and figure ourselves out a little bit more before we take any sort of action. And I feel like that's kind of what's going on here. It's like having this brilliant energy and being excited and knowing what you're going for and then coming up against some sort of problem here of which you do not initially see a solution to and the, the encouragement is to back away from the problem and the solution will present itself, Aries. Um, so let's see what else. King of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Some of you are definitely closing out a chapter. Or a karmic cycle and it has to deal with it has to deal with letting go of the past or getting to this point Aries where you are taking charge you know um, I'm also getting a message of like making better use of your alone time, of your downtime. Not seeing alone time as lonely, but seeing it as a privilege, right? Because life is nothing but perception. And based on whatever perception you hold, that dictates your experience and how you feel. So it's important, right? You could... Uh, Be in a situation and see the good in it and therefore feel some sort of comfort or you could be in a situation and conjure up the worst of it and feel completely uncomfortable it's up to you um, it's not so much about changing your circumstance as it is about perception and Yes, and needing to let loose every once in a while as well. <laughs> you are a fire sign, so it's not good for you to be all business all the time or too serious. Like there's this encouragement here as well to have some fun and incorporate more of that into your current experience. There's definitely a chapter closing here on something or someone from the past. Okay, and that could have been where that song came from, but there's also love involved or love, a greater sense of appreciation involved. Let me say that. It's almost like as one door closes, another one opens. Yes, of course, that's always the case. The universe never leaves you without, but also it is the sense of like relief that I feel of like getting, I don't want to, I don't like the word closure, but like moving away from this exhaustive feeling into this more 
satisfying type of energy where you feel more like you, where you feel more like you're in the groove. Um, oh, they're giving me Kanye West. That, 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 that don't kill me. Can only make me stronger. <laughs> yeah, I know. I didn't sing that very well. But you know what song that is, right? Need to hurry up now because I can't take much longer. Anyways. <laughs> what is this Ace of Cups about? Okay, some of you definitely have a very important connection showing up for you where there might have been a period of loneliness, whether that was that person or you. Yes. Yes, there's some sort of intuitive spiritual connection coming through. Now, some of you, this is the connection between you and you, your higher self and your lower self. And that's why you're feeling more like you, more in the groove. For others of you, this is definitely a person, okay? Uh, maybe after a time period of not being able to uncover something or figure something out and that being your only blockage, literally your only blockage to getting what you want, and then finally surrendering that or needing to surrender that and instead just trust. And as you get into that trust, Aries, and as we go into February, <clears throat> Aquarius season, <clears throat> excuse me, there is a change here. Some of you, there is a spiritually intuitive, you know, soulmate connection that is coming through here after going through some endings or closures from the past, okay? Um, so I feel like there's something definitely here to look forward to, and that's why the encouragement is to have faith, is to care for self, is to trust. Um, and if nothing else, this is a higher level understanding of yourself, Aries, of the relationship between you and you, which is the most important relationship that you're ever going to have because it's the only relationship you're going to take to the grave with you, and that's the relationship with yourself, right? But I feel like... For a lot of you, this is also a really important love partnership or someone that you genuinely care about and you have a spiritual connection with that's showing up in the right timing just for you. So, Aries, let's see what the guidance is here. I that song on Groove is in my heart. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I cannot sing it. <laughs> All right. What is the guidance? It says, the universe is big enough to fulfill my every intent. And this says, I want to feel good. The universal manager has the ability to bring everyone a match to what they're giving their attention to without depriving anyone else of what they are wanting. And this says, today, no matter where I'm going, no matter what I'm doing, no matter who I'm doing it with, it will be my dominant intention to see that of which I am wanting to see. This is an encouragement here, Aries, to look for the good. Look for the good in yourself. Look for the good in others. Look for the good in your life. And as you place your focus there, that will gain momentum. And the problem, the irritation, will dissolve. So, Aries, beautiful reading. I'm going to leave it there for now. Zodiac signs that you might be connecting with or having your own birth chart. I have Aquarian energy here. I also felt Gemini reference. This is Taurus energy, Taurus, Leo. Uh, Sagittarius and Aries energy predominantly but it is a general reading so take what resonates leave what doesn't if it did resonate please do let me know in the comments down below also don't forget to give me a like share and subscribe if you haven't yet you can find me on Facebook and Instagram as well for more fun stuff I do have videos and content over there tarot time with Dana 
all of it linked in the description box below as well as in the about section of my YouTube where you can find the donation link. If you'd like to donate, you can do so there. Otherwise, I'm wishing you the very, very best, Aries. And until next time, my friends, namaste.